Aloha. I hope everyone is having a great day. This is Cindy, your host at Bucket List Coach Web Show, and we're coming to you from beautiful, sunny California and also Florida. So really quickly, make sure that you like me on Facebook TikTok, and Instagram. That's Bucket List Coach Web Show. And head over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and make sure that you hit that bell icon to get notified of other awesome videos. I am your host, Cindy Lee. I am a travel agent and podcaster, and I created this podcast to get the word out on what my friends are doing via the bucket list. So make sure that you go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook so we can see your comments here on the show. Today for National Day, it is National Admin Day and Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. Make sure that you go to nationaldaycalendar.com to see all the amazing days to celebrate every day. And of course, support the show by going to venmo.com slash podcast mastery. If you'd like to learn this very type of show, uh, make sure to follow me on the web show and message me. So today I have my friend Javia. He is with No Jamaica Tours. He is one of my Viatar partners. Make sure that you go to bucketlistcoachtraveltours.com and definitely share this broadcast. And in the chat here, you can actually see the link to the Viatar. And also there is a link so you could win a vacation for four nights or four days and three nights. So make sure that you go to the link to enter. So we have Javia, no JamaicaTours.com. Tell us all about what you got going on in Jamaica this weekend. Thank you for having me, Cindy, and Bucket List entire coach group. Thank you for having me. Thank you, world, for watching. Um, as you know, Javia Shaw, I'm representing Jamaica. Um, hey. I just want to say everybody should take the time out sometime in their life and visit Jamaica and see what Jamaica has to offer, you know, not just, you know, beaches and hotels and all of that, but the people, the food, our culture in general, you know, so I just want everybody to know, check out Jamaica. It's, it's, are it's, you on it's stop little... right now? You're pausing. I'm pausing? Yeah, you're pa I can hear you, but I can't see. You're, you're just still. What? Hold on. Let me turn my cam off and turn it back on. Are you seeing me now? I can see you, but it's only like a still picture. Hold on. <laughs> All good. We'll get this. Technology, right? I know, all right? And this is when it, it starts to act up. Any changes, Cindy? No, you could actually go out of the show and then come back in. All right, let me do that. I tried to do that. So make sure that you check out Javia. He's actually going to be back on, but go to no, that's K N O W, Jamaica Tours. You can find him on Facebook and also Instagram. And of course, no Jamaica Tours.com, and he'll be here just shortly. But we could hear them. Let's see if we could get him back on. So what do you have on your Jamaica tour list, your Jamaica bucket list? Have you ever been to Jamaica? Uh, what are some of the things that you've heard? I, I see I have my friend Tammy on. So tell us what you know about Jamaica, Tammy. Let's go ahead and put it in the chat. And we're back. Woohoo! Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. So um, I know we're, we're not really doing it today, but can you kind of start off by telling people your broadcast for your cooking show? Is that on Sundays? Well, um, yes, it was supposed to be on every second Sunday, but it's actually, I just started, but because of, you know, certain happenings, I had to pause it for a minute. So I, I don't want to elaborate, elaborate too much on the cooking experiences until I'm back on it fully. So yes, guys, I have a cooking experience that has been aired. I've done it once, introduced it to 
the world and um, I will continue to do it. Just a small pause for right now for a few weeks and then I'll get back to it. So you guys have something different to look out for from Javia and No Jamaica Tours, which is a online cooking experience. So look out for it. All right. We'll get more to that later on, Cindy. Yeah, man. So tell us about the whole history of your company. So your, your mom started this company? Well, let me give you guys a quick rundown. Um, we have a little bit of time. So my mom, whose name is Marva Shaw, um, she used to be a tour representative at um, various hotels within Jamaica. So she has been dealing with tourism for, I'm what, 38? So over, over 20 years, actually, right? Yeah, um, I'm going to say maybe about 30 years. So Marva, my mom, has been working within the tourism industry. And then she started to do her own thing, you know, around about 1996 or so. And then I came on board in the year 2000 with the technology era. So this is why we're connecting right now with me coming on, you know, in the technological space and also being a tour guide myself, which I grew up in this industry and loving it, you know, love meeting people, et cetera. So my mom really, started and run no jamaica tours so we work as a team small company trying to build we 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 do subcontracts so we i try to market and promote her name so big where we get more jobs than just our small team and we subcontract to other independent people out there so we're trying our best to endorse and support the local economy by supporting ourselves and building our own network so thanks to the internet thanks to you guys for you know, checking in and believing in us and, you know, representing No Jamaica Tours. So that's where we all came from. Yeah, man. So Hi. big up to Marva Shah, my mom and my boss. The, tell us about the Viator page that you have. Well, um, so Viator, as, of, as, as you know, Viator has been, you know, very um, dominant in the online booking, you know, platform for some years now. And we have been, in fact, we've gotten several certificate of excellence from TripAdvisor. Of course, you know, they were only, you know, collecting reviews and sharing reviews to the world in about two years or so now. I mean, well, maybe a little bit more longer, they have started to actually book tours for the operators such as ourselves. So we have a few tours listed on Viata. You could always check us out. It's No Jamaica Tours. You know, once you type No Jamaica Tours, you could find us anywhere. You could either type No Jamaica Tours, one word, or you could type it, you know, broken, No Jamaica Tours. But Viata has a few tours listed for us. You could check us out. And you could also check out our reviews on Viata. No Jamaica Tours, you could check out our reviews on there. There are links to the reviews and such on our website. So, yeah, we're listed by Viata and other agents out there that I'm not even sure of, but yeah, we're listed. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And I'll uh, give a shout out for everyone to go to my site. It is called bucketlistcoachtraveltours.com. And Check that out. Actually, yeah, that links right to Viatar and then it'll actually say Bucket List Coach Travel and Tours on the top. So you know that that's my page for Viatar. And mm -hmm. um, then I, I will give you the link that's actually here in the chat. And so if you have a trip coming to Jamaica, I, I could do the hotel the uh, car rental transfers, whatever you want, um, and of course, the excursion. So uh, tell us what are the restrictions right now? Let me just say one thing. So um, for those people who are actually viewing right now, viewing this live on your Bucket List Coach um, live, Please comment. If you're viewing from my platform, from my No Jamaica Tours platform, from Javier Sean, you're viewing, just comment and let us know you're in the house. You know, one love, you know, we appreciate viewing and please share the link as much as you can and just help, you know, Bucket List and myself, you know, to get out there to viewers and let people acknowledge and recognize what we are trying to do as, you know, representative of the tourism industry. All right. Yeah, man. Yes, and we're coming to you live every single month. So it's like he's my little co-host from Jamaica and I'm here in yeah. California. I'm so blessed for the friendship. Thank you for that. I'm honored. Yeah, I'm honored. Thank you. So what are the restrictions currently for Jamaica as far as the C-19 COVID? Well, currently we have... Um, 
just a few restrictions. You know, we have curfews going on pretty much um, on and off and time changes with the curfews, weekends as to week. Um, so during the week, the curfew begins at uh, 8 p.m. during the night and gets off at 5 a.m. in the morning during the week. And during the weekends, um, I think it's 2 p.m. Yeah, 2 p.m. and gets off at 5 a.m. Yeah, 5 a.m. in the morning. So we got her curfew system going on pretty much to try and eliminate that heavy traffic at times, you know, and, and bundled up spaces and parties and stuff like that, which, you know, we still got people keeping their little private parties and stuff like that. Um, if you're traveling, of course, you got to get your test done to have a negative um, COVID test to enter the island. Um, they were doing quarantine for, for a minute, but I think quarantine is not that big right now. It's more of protocols, wearing your mask, you know, being sanitized. And of course, you have to have your negative test to enter the island. And then, of course, if you visit the Jamaica via flight, which only flights are coming in, no crews right now, um, before leaving, you also have to do a test from Jamaica to get back to your country. Yeah? yeah three days before. Two days? Two days before. Three okay. Days. Three days. Three days. Okay. There you go. Yeah, man. I, yeah. Well, I I thought, I'm not sure if that's, that may be, but I think they, they also have a rapid test that people could do at the airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's happening now, too. But that's that's about it for restrictions. You know, have your tests done. Um, you know, follow the protocols. Um, that's about it, actually. Yeah, I'm on. tell my audience what excursions you have running currently. Well, currently we have a host of excursions running. We have pre um, what do you call? Uh, we have package tours, which are shared tours, and we have also our private customized tours. Now, me being a tour guide personally, I prefer the private customized stores because with these stores, you're able to customize your own itinerary based on your interest. You know what I mean? Um, hey, little kitty wanted to join. So, yeah, we have... Um, <laughs> you left. So yeah, we have we have a few shared tours that's on our website. All our tours are listed on our website. And what we do for people that don't have an idea what they want to do in Jamaica, you know, my myself and Marva, primarily Marva, which is my mom and also again my boss lady, you know, we help people to customize their tours, get a get a, an idea of people's interests and put things together for them. But you know, like I said, the private tours are number one selling tours for years. It's it's one of the favorite tours for our clients for years. So you know, that's one of the I would say best seller and number one tour that I would suggest. But there are other packages there on the website that one could book. You know, that are pre-organized. Yeah. So, so how about the waterfall bucket list? What do you have for that? Well, waterfall bucket list. If you're if you're visiting the island via um, staying on the island, land-based vacation, trust me, YS Falls. I know everybody's familiar with Duns River Falls and, 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 and which other one? Duns River Falls and Blue Hole and stuff. But the YS Falls, guys, Google this. YS Falls, Jamaica. It is the, on the bucket list. It's a bucket list for me every time. And I would tell you to make it a bucket list for you guys. YS Falls. Y, the letter Y. Letter S, Falls. It's found on the south coast of the island in a parish called St. Elizabeth. Big up to St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. You know, one of the rural parishes that's very beautiful and has quite a bit to offer to our locals and visitors to our island. So on the bucket list for waterfalls, YS Falls is like number one. And then if you have never done the waterfalls, Duns River Falls for sure, Blue Hole, we got... Reach falls. We got quite a few falls that one would uh, that one would want to check out. So if you're one of those people chasing waterfalls, several are several are on the bucket list for Jamaica. So so Cindy, when you get to Jamaica, you gotta connect with us and let me take you to some of these waterfalls. So we gotta do some research before you get here. You know the distance and where you'll be staying and stuff, and we make it happen. Go chase those waterfalls. 
Exactly. So I'm, I don't know if I ever told you, but I was a chef for over 25 years. So one of my, you mentioned that you mentioned Jamaica that is the food. Do you have any um, culinary walking tours or um, is there um, like some kind of crawl where you go to different restaurants or did you offer is, something within your brand? It has been, it has been organized and um, thanks to you also, you've mentioned that to me. So that is actually on the drawing board. And uh, we have a tour that on our website is called the Jamaica Foodie Cultural and um immersion experience so it's something similar to that but it's not 100 percent worded to to be classed as a foodie restaurant crawl type of thing so what we're putting together right now is i don't want to let the secret out too much but yes you know something is being organized for those food enthusiasts and also that drink so from red stripe to beer enthusiasts we got something coming for you guys that is also different to our network but you know from doing our research and analyzing from over the years and taking also requests from other clients and suggestions from people like sydney here cindy here on your bucket list coach you know um we got something coming that is different and more food enthusiast geared for you guys yeah so continue to follow and check out no jamaica tours for new and happen new happenings yeah sounds awesome so we mm. have about two minutes left on the show okay uh, tell well, us a little bit more on why people have to connect with no jamaica tours well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say this, like people should connect with No Jamaica Tools. One reason is that we're very local. We're a local, local run and local owned company. And some people might say local run. So do we got internationals? Yes. There are people here that has invested in Jamaica's um, travel companies, you know, that are international. We are 100% local run, small entity. Again, started with my mom. You know, I came on board. Now me and my mom were, you know, running No Jamaica Tours. So one reason, local. Um, another reason is personable. Uh, another reason is reasonable. Value for your dollar. You actually get more than what you bargain for when you're with us because our service pretty much is priceless, right? Um, we, we give you the, the cultural feel, you know, there's no rush. So you would book with some people and you're, this is why I prefer private tours. It's never rushed. You book tours with people and you're like on this schedule, like, oh, we got to go. Oh, um, yes, I gotta I go. Yeah. yeah um, I got to go do this. I got to go do that. So you got to hurry up at this point. No, we're pretty much when we go out, we're pretty much laid back. So your, your, your satisfaction is our total satisfaction is our motto. Again, Marva Shaw created that that motto. Total satisfaction is our motto, right? So your satisfaction is is what we care about when you book with No Jamaica Tour. So book with us for 100% supporting a local economy, local entity, 100% um, getting your value for your dollar, 100% um, flexibility. Yeah. So these are key things. Primary. I won't stretch it out too much. Value for your dollar, support a local, supporting a local entity. And 100% um, flexibility. So no stress on your brain, no rush. You could leave it all up to us. We make it happen for you. We organize it for you. We got a small team. And anybody that tours, that takes care of you uh, for No Jamaica Tours, you're in good hands, whether me or anybody else. So if it's not me, you don't have to worry. Once you're under No Jamaica's heading, you're in good hands, straight up. Well, thank you so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the green room. Uh, can you announce your pages on Facebook and Instagram one more time? Okay, so Facebook, Instagram, of course, it's No Jamaica Tours, one word. LinkedIn, so Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and now TikTok. No Jamaica Tours. <laughs> no Jamaica Tours, one word. K N O W Jamaica Tours, all one word. All right, so check us out there. No Jamaica Tours, you can't miss. Any one of the medium platforms you find, you could find us. Well, since you said you're on TikTok, I'm going to do mm -hmm. a really quick plug. So I'm just going to do um, an introduction. What I'm going to do with this video, I'm going to splice it up. And then um, the part that's on TikTok, I'm going to send to you. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! Hello, guys. This is Cindy over at Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. And I got no Jamaica tours. And yes, yeah, they're on. on TikTok. 
do a quick plug for 10 seconds on your TikTok. Yeah, I'm on. Check us out. No Jamaica Tours. We love you. One love. Woohoo. All right, guys. I'm going to put you in the green room, and I'll see you there right about 30 seconds. Peace. Woohoo. Shaka. Well, there you go, guys. My amazing bucket list partner at No Jamaica Tours. Make sure that you follow him on Instagram, Facebook, of course, LinkedIn, and TikTok. And tell your friends about the show and tell your friends about No Jamaica Tours. Also, if you go to the chat, if you've been on the show today, you could actually have a chance to win for a four-day, three-night vacation. Make sure that you click the link to enter. And next on the show, oh, my God, this has been on my bucket list since I took my very first skydive. I have my friend Jeff. He is the CEO of Skydive San Diego. Stay tuned for the 2 o'clock show. Shaka, baby. Woohoo!